Life is a little uh, tougher. Yeah. yeah. This time on Selling Tashian. <laughs> we are back in La Paz. We see some sights, do some provisioning, and witness the famous La Paz Waltz. After a series of windy anchorages, we were very excited to have a peaceful night at Bahia Falsa. But we were up early and ready to head into La Paz where we would finally get our water maker fixed. So to get to La Paz, we're going to have to go through a chain narrow channel. I think we're going to be okay because of all of the time we spent on the river going through narrow channels and super crazy shallows and all of that fun stuff. So that's our channel marker. That's the barge. And we're both going to be turning at the same time. And this guy over here could care less. Just a son in himself. Plenty of space. No worries. This is uh, gonna be just like the Delta, no biggie. Probably wider than some of the channels we've been through. All the tour boats headed out for the day. Maneuvering through the channel proved to be no problem. If there was any advice we would give for those navigating the La Paz channel, it would be this. Pay attention. Shallow sandy bottoms shift, so watch your depth and look for rapid changes in depth. Don't assume other boats know or will comply with the right-of-way regulations. And if you feel unsafe, make a swift and clear move toward the safer path. And watch for those channel markers and stay within them. They're there for a reason. And lastly, study the charts before you go in so you have a good idea about the path to travel. If you do all of that, piece of cake. So we just uh, anchored here and we are right near the naval area. We're in about 20 feet of water here. There's a little dinghy launch over here where people are taking tours out. So there's a little few boats going, but oddly, this is a good friend of ours that we met in San Francisco. They departed before us, saw the Sea of Cortez, and now they're back. So I'm super excited we got to anchor next to them. We actually got a really great spot right next to some people that we met in Richmond. And before we even left, uh, they left a little bit before us. Probably the smarter ones. <laughs> Our current situation is pretty good. It's, uh, we've got plenty of space here. They talk about the weird current and tides and wind and stuff like that. And uh, really, honestly, this felt very familiar. Um, having come from the Delta where Everything is about the wind and the currents and the tides, and so I know exactly what they're talking about. One of the first things we did was we got our dinghy down and ready to go, because we'd like to go to town a little bit later. We're running low on some fresh produce and stuff like that. But every time we do it, it's just getting easier and easier, and I think this time it was the easiest. But we've got our, our dinghy down and uh, floating behind us and ready to go on an excursion. All of this is all marinas, and this is one of these marinas over here is where we'll, we'll um, go to get up the guy to come on a boat and the city is all back there and we can walk around in it and there's all sorts of resources groceries and stores and tons of restaurants and stuff and then right over here is the Navy <laughs> so I'm feeling pretty safe it's very very calm here tons and tons of boats but um, it's pretty cool in here is where we're going in to make sure it might be 
the dinghy dock, we think. Indeed, that was the spot. So you go into this little area where it says, slow, no, wait, thank you. And wow, look at all these cool boats. This way, down the very last area, at the very, very, very end is the dinghy dock. And I see lots of dinghies on the dock. So the, this is the dinghy dock. It's actually pretty big, but there's a ton of dinghies and they're stacked up, but there's a couple little spaces here and there. Just um, tie up where you can and that's where we go. We did a brief survey of the area and found many close services, including laundry. We walked through town, found some groceries, and then headed back to have some delicious food at the Dock Cafe at Marina de la Paz. Hi, we're supposed to be picking up the um, guy who's going to come look at our water maker and see if he can make an assessment at 10 o'clock this morning, but uh, we woke up to rain, which is much needed. We need the rain to wash all of the salty, ucky, crustiness that's gotten all over Tashi the past couple of weeks, but um, I don't know. We wanted to go to the farmer's market today. Don't know if it's still on. Gonna listen to Cruiser's Net and oh, okay. see. So I, oop, Hal just let me know it came on. So I'm gonna go listen to that and see what's going on. Please remember when coming to the net to first state your boat name and then wait to be recognized. This helps prevent radio biolips. It's also good net practice to end your message with your boat name so we don't forget who you are. Advertisements of products and services are not done on this net, so if you have such an ad, please wait until after the net to announce it. Next up, the up and down report, Mr. Mysterious Tide Guy, buenos dias. In spite of the rain, the girls from Tashi, Liahona, and Good Day were feeling bold. So we ventured out into the rain to do some sightseeing. We ended up at a museum that was quite a find. This museum had all types of contemporary art exhibits, from Gothic, to statement pieces, to traditional. But my favorite was an interactive exhibit by a contemporary artist named Ivan Guadarrama. His pieces came alive with the help of a phone app. What a great way to spend a rainy day. It's a bit of a blustery day here in La Paz. So uh, we're just gonna hang out on the boat. That's some big water for an anchorage. It's a little breezy out here today. Just a little bit. <laughs> um, yesterday we got our water maker fixed. We're so excited. Um, Eduardo did a great job from the water maker store here in La Paz. He came on board. He did it really quick. Um, it was a simple fix, but it could prove to be uh, expensive to fix. That is some good flow right there. It's making about 32 gallons per hour. Last week's episode provided details of the repair and a full review of the water maker, but we left out this little detail. I love Mexico. These guys repaired my uh, water maker, so I'm going over to uh, pay the bill and they're gonna ride over in the back of the truck. Uh, so we were thinking we would go ashore and get some laundry done, um, get some more you know, fruits and vegetables, groceries, things like that, but um, we're gonna stay put. Uh, this is very much reminds me of the time that we were stuck in Broad Slough and the tide was going one way and the wind is going another way and our boat was just going crazy because all the boats here in La Paz are doing that. Um, they they kind of call it the La Paz Wall.
miserable. It's just uh, not the most comfortable because we're bobbing up and down too. But we'll, we'll see how the day goes. The wind, while not as bad as the previous northerlies, kept up until the evening. So we stayed put and kept entertained by the waltz. have the Navy out there marching. How cool is that? They're probably gonna raise the flag here momentarily or something. I don't know, but how cool is this? They just hoisted the Mexican flag along with a couple of other flags. They're all standing there. This is really cool. We are getting ready to go to town to do some laundry and some provisioning, hopefully. Um, it's been a bit windy, so we haven't gotten off the boat, but today is a gorgeous day. So we are getting off and going to town and um, hopefully get some stuff accomplished. Ready? Yeah. All right. Go to town. Bye, Tashi. Be good. After dropping off our garbage and laundry, we required some sustenance. Pancakes! Pancake celebration. Then we were off on an Uber ride to do some provisioning at Sam's Club. We survived another trip. I don't know. Wait, we're not back to the boat yet. <laughs> we might we may or may not have survived a trip. Life is a little uh tougher Yeah. But you know what? We we're shocked with our potato chips and gin and Jose Cuervo, so we're good. Yeah. What, trip number three in the day? Or two? I don't know. It will be number three. Laundry's done. More groceries done. Ready? Very, we are ready to go someplace. Work was done, but we had one more dinghy trip to make ashore for a scrumptious burger with some friends. Then home again to enjoy the beautiful calm evening. When we wake. And see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right the future is bright 